So there's something that needs to be said about one of my commentaries. If you've been on my channel long enough, you probably know the commentary I made on MTC about Mary Sue's. For quick context, Kitty Kitty made a video talking about how we shouldn't hate Mary Sue's if people are new to the art community, to which MTC did a commentary on that, to which I hopped into it by doing my own commentary on her. The reason why I brought this up is to address something that quite recently happened as I didn't catch this problem for a while now when I was making that commentary. Now, I am absolutely aware that she is back onto YouTube and social media as we know it. She watched the commentary I made on her, and then she messaged me on Discord for a mistake I did not catch. And this is not just any mistake. It's a huge mistake that I made when I was making the video. And to show you it, I'll play the clip right now to show you what she was talking about. If you put research into a new topic, you'll end up with more information that you already have, and you can use it in your commentaries. MTC Commentates didn't do any of that and just made this video out of spite. MTC Commentates didn't do any of that and just made this video out of spite. Out of spite. Yeah. So the wording I presented, I called her spiteful. I did not clarify what I was talking about, and I just dropped it which in turn painted a negative image around her. Because of this lack of clarification, it needs to be addressed. So I'm gonna be straight up with this, no bullshit. Madison the cat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hurt you with my poor choice of words and lack of clarification. When I was making this commentary, I was originally gonna say this, but I opted into doing well that. In the end, boy did I screw that one up. So I guess it's time for clarification. What I meant by that is that some of the points in the video, like taking things out of context, can make your viewers think that you are mean-spirited and therefore spiteful. Along providing little research to back up your claim, it can also make the viewers think the same thing. Now, here's an example I would like to bring up. What was it that you said in your video in the beginning? You might, you might be, be wondering, wondering why, why would you, you ever glorify, glorify Mary Sue's? Sue's? I'm, I'm not, not really, really glorifying, glorifying them. Yeah, so instead of glorifying Mary Sue's, you're defending them and telling people, if you can't handle it, then leave the art community. This interjection was taken out of context from what she said in the original video that Kitty Kitty made. Kitty Kitty was trying to provide positive criticism to what's going to be known as Mary Sue material, or possibly Mary Sue material as she states in the video. But today, this video is not going to be exactly like the other videos people have seen, which is bashing on people's creations and bashing in general just on Mary Sue's. We're going to give positivity to things that are potentially going to be Mary Sue material. Whether it may be a first time user of DeviantArt or something else in particular, she was bringing positivity because the community that loves to hate on Mary Sue's is, well, toxic. And by taking this line out of context, it makes your viewers think that it's out of spite. And yes, while I did joke about it, is this video out of spite because I think this is. It didn't translate well into my final thoughts. MTC commentates didn't do any of that and just made this video out of spite. Which, in turn, harmed you. By me saying that you are spiteful and leave enough at that without any prior context, I essentially said this person made a bad commentary and therefore they should feel bad. I have no ill will against you, and I want to see you improve. But this isn't the correct way I should have responded. Not one bit. I may not know you personally, but I heavily understand now from what you said, that you had no ill will against Kitty Kitty. And me saying, well, that, it's fucked up how I treated you like that. Before I want to leave this video, I just want to say one more quick thing. I don't know if this has happened already, but I'm just gonna say it for the love of it. If a viewer from my Mary Sue commentary actually made hate comments on her videos, I'm just gonna say this. Stop. Just stop, please. Just because I made a commentary on her doesn't mean you can actually put hate comments on her videos. Do you want to know why most people in the CC have disclaimers? It's because that we do not want witch hunts or bullying to the said person. And ignoring them just to make a little hate comment is just downright low. So once again, I am terribly sorry MTC for hurting you because of a point that I didn't make clear. And hopefully this doesn't happen again in the future. Hopefully this video clears some of the things out for the commentary I made back then. Keep in mind this was before I actually dove into the CC. So with this, I would like to put this whole thing to rest. 
If you're expecting a new video, like a new commentary or whatnot, it'll be happening pretty soon. I have a lot going on, but this needs to be said because... It just feels wrong for me to ignore it. Thank you for your time if you watched this video, and hopefully we can avoid this problem in the future.